Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4BMG. I spend a great deal of time surfing the internet looking for better gear, more compact, better cost, better performance. That doesn't often land me on AliExpress, but I did find this collapsible vertical antenna that would compete with, say, the Chameleon SS17 or the MFJ1979, and I just had to give it a try. So I'm now in possession of two of them and I wanna share it with you. I'm not going to suggest that you buy or not buy from AliExpress. I just wanna share this with you so you can make an informed decision as to whether or not this is good gear for you. This antenna right here is the Chameleon SS17 and this antenna here is the BD7IBI 5.6 meter stainless steel whip. Now, at the moment, I can't get them both fully in screen. You can see that the Chameleon SS17 comes in at around 24 and a half inches, and the BD7 IBI comes in at about 20 and a half inches. So, four inches difference in collapsed length. Let's go ahead and slide these both forward so that you can see that the back ends of these are indeed lined up, and now you can see that. Next up, let's talk about the number of sections each antenna has. The Chameleon SS17 has 10 telescoping sections, and the BD7 IBI has 14 telescoping sections. And that's how they're able to achieve a shorter overall length on the BD7 IBI. I don't often bore you with these types of details because I feel like you can look them up on your own if they're important to you. I tend to be more pragmatic in my approach to ham radio. Does it work? Is it effective? Will it last? But the weight of the SS17 comes in at about 13 and a half ounces, 13.6, if I can stop pressing my fingers on it, 13 and a half. Let's call it 13 and a half. Now let's look at the BD7 IBI. And our weight is about 9.5. So a four ounce difference between the two, meaning there's more material in that SS17. Before we get these outside, let's look at the first two obvious differences between these antennas. First up, let's talk about thread size. We have the expected 3 8 by 24 on the Chameleon SS17. However, on the BD7 IBI, we have an M10 thread size. So all of our antenna mounts that expect to receive a 3 8 by 24 are going to have a problem here. I imagine you could cross thread and twist this sucker in, but I don't think you wanna do that. So you have to acquire an adapter. And I have found a high quality adapter to get you from this M10 to 3 8 by 24. And what that automatically does is add some length to your antenna. We're only going to include the body section of this measurement because we've already taken the threads into account in our first measurement. The body of this adapter is one and a quarter inches. So you lose some of the height advantage if you're trying to pack this in a backpack by adding the adapter or you just keep the adapter separate and then you put it in a pouch somewhere else in your pack. I will leave the link to this adapter. I have searched high and low. It is by far and away the best adapter for this scenario. If you go looking on Amazon or eBay, you're gonna find things that are made for uh, automobile brake systems. I don't think they're going to be as strong as this particular adapter. This is a high quality precision adapter. I am not an affiliate. I will leave a link to where you can purchase this. If you look at the base of these antennas, there is a difference in diameter. I'm not going to measure that because as you get closer to the base, they're pretty beefy in both cases. However, as you move to the top of this antenna and get to the very last section of each, there is a pretty significant difference in size and therefore I would expect durability if they were subjected to wind or perhaps long-term use of up and down, up and down. To get to a measurement on the SS17, we're going to use a fraction that's meaningful to those of us that are normal in math. And for the BD7 IBI, here we are at 1 8th. For those of you really good at math, you've already done the conversion. For those of the rest of us, let's take a couple of seconds. So much for learning about fractions in elementary school being worthless. Have you figured out the answer yet? If you've completed the conversion over to 30 seconds, you realize that we have four 30 seconds versus nine 30 seconds. So twice as large plus one additional 30 second. That means that the SS17 is likely going to be more durable in the wind.
Next comparison, price. The BD7 IBI is going to set me back about $26 off of AliExpress, unless you find some type of coupon deal. Um, I bought two and had a nice discount when I ordered mine, plus the cost of that adapter, which you have to figure in as well. And again, link in the description below. The SS17 from the Chameleon website will set you back about $70. We're outside now and we're going to look at the differences of these two antennas. On the left hand side is the Chameleon SS17 and on the right hand side is the AliExpress antenna. I do have the adapter on so it's already an inch and a half to two inches longer than it would be without that adapter. When we come up to the first joint on the AliExpress antenna, you can see what I'm gonna call is a single crimp. By that, I'm just comparing it to the a chameleon antenna which seems to have two places where that inside section is gripping or has a stop. I'm going to consider that uh, a better feature on the SS17. I'm not certain that's just what it appears to me. So that's going to be for every section and as we go down to the end we're going to measure the length. And we have what we expect to see with the SS17. We have 17 feet in and change 17 feet and an inch <laughs> but here on the aliexpress antenna we have 18 feet and six inches on the left hand side we have the chameleon antennas ss17 and on the far right side we have the aliexpress bd7 ibi in the middle we have our workstation and we have both the antennas connected with the same length, same brand of coax going into our antenna switch. Off to my right is the SS17. It will be in position four on the antenna switch. And behind me will be the BD7 IBI and it will be in position two. Let's go back and forth between them and see if we have any significant difference. No difference. That's the chameleon. Now back to the BD7 IBI. All right, we're at 5657, back to the chameleon, 5657. Absolutely no difference on receive. Kilo, Delta 4, Bravo, Mike Golf. You're five nine into Tampa, Florida. Do you mind if I hit my antenna switch and just try a different antenna on you real quick? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, Kilo Delta Four Bravo Mike Golf. Any difference? Yeah, no big difference. I think it's uh, slightly better this one, or. Roger that. Thanks for the help, friend. Seventy three. Have a great evening. Okay, I copy you with both antennas, so they work. So Seventy three, is Bob. Thank you. Seventy three. Kilo Delta Four Bravo Mike Golf. Copy the five seven right back at you with the five seven. Do you mind if I switch antennas and give me a signal report? All right, here's the second antenna. Want to give me a report on this one, please? All right, thanks for that, I appreciate it. Just comparing two uh, collapsible verticals. Uh, have fun, friend, and thanks for activating. Let's decide now whether we should purchase the SS17 or the BD7 IBI collapsible antenna. Personal preference comes in here and perhaps use case. If I were preparing for an emergency, a hurricane was coming to Florida, imagine that and I was packing up my gear and only had room for one antenna, the Chameleon Cha SS17 would absolutely be the antenna that would go with me. If I could only own one antenna, I would do the buy once, cry once, and get the SS17, even though it's about three times more expensive as the BD7 IBI. Because I can only afford one, I want the best one, meaning the one that's going to last the longest. 
I've owned my SS17 for almost three years and I've had no problem with it. I've had it outside many times and on many POTA activations. The BD7 IBI is a new addition to my shack gear and of course I'll be testing it for durability. What do we make of the fact that Sierra 5.1 David X-Ray said, you're slightly better on that second antenna. And November 5 Echo Sierra Tango said, audio is a little bit clearer. They were both commenting on the BD7 IBI. They didn't know that. You do because you were watching me with my antenna switch. First of all, that was hardly a scientific experiment. I didn't let them know I would be asking for a comparison until after they heard the first transmission. So maybe they were paying more attention to the second. It was a very brief conversation. Sugar 5.1 David X-Ray makes contacts in rapid succession. I shouldn't even have asked him to make the comparison. And the other gentleman was doing a POTA activation. He was more interested in logging contacts than telling me how my antennas were working. He didn't treat me that way, but that's how I should have looked at the situation. It would have been nice if I could have found someone to do a five or 10 minute CUSO with so that they would have had a significant period of time on each antenna to give me some objective feedback, but I was unable to find someone available to do that. In the end, we were into Slovenia with a strong signal report on the gold standard of collapsible vertical antennas, the Chameleon SS-17. And in the end, we were into Slovenia with a good signal report on the low cost BD-7 IBI. Win-win. I can say that I absolutely had no goal to convince you to purchase one antenna over the other. I own them both and I'm happy to own them both. I wanted to provide you with enough information that you can make an informed decision about the options that you have in front of you. I hope you enjoyed this video, friend. I enjoyed making it. Talk to you soon.